Hello and welcome again. Um, this is the fourth installment of teaching you some basics about Excel and today we're going to talk about how to generate visual output in Excel. So we're not talking about SPSS today, it's just Excel and a very quick introduction. Um, the version of Excel that I'm using is actually not even in English but the, the, the basics remain the same. I should warn you that it will take you about an hour to figure out all the ins and outs of Excel. Some of that's relatively a little complicated in the beginning, but once you know how to do it, you're quickly going to become very, very proficient in generating very beautiful output. Okay, so um, so how do we do this? We have the table here in Excel. You'll remember we exported that. And then one very simple way of generating output is that we mark the data we want to have. And here we mark the text that relates to it. Then we go to the diagram assistant, it's up here in the bar. Maybe you need to put it there in case it's not there. And let's take the bar chart. And here we have two options. Here we have columns and rows, those are the, the, the words. This is now in um, set in columns. Here when we click rows, this is a different way of representation. So this is your choice, what you prefer. I think I like this because uh, we'll work with a legend over there. And then let's go here over to the rows. This is all in there. Um, and then add importance of contributions on the x-axis below. And here we may want to put in the real values and percentages. Be careful with the, we sometimes have your percentages that are below the margin of error, so we often need to strip out the decimal number. And here we can put in the diagram title. This is at the very left title. And sort of uh, we'll put in importance of contributions to household. A little repetitive to what we had below, but hey, you know, sometimes we need that. And that already puts us on track. Now here we can create a new worksheet rather than having it just in this sheet, which is importance of contributions. And it's ready. We're done. We've got it. Now a couple of things that I typically suggest in this. It, right click allows you first option, allows you to change the filling effects here. I typically just choose two colors just to make it a little more visually appealing. Filling effects, okay. Already looks a lot nicer. And then we typically, I typically like to have uh, a progression of colors. I don't like the colors that they have, so I mark it like this. And then, you know, typically a progression of colors in from dark blue to lighter blue. And then we can move across there. That's something you could continue. You can also mark all the texts here, the, the, the value, um, and change that in size or bolden it. I often put this in here, especially if there's a lot of empty space so that we have a sensible use of the space. And I like here text size, font size 14. Okay, this now already looks good. So then if you want to change the axes, right click, format axes, axis, and then here I don't want any, I don't want any uh, decimal there behind the, the zero. Okay, now we could work with this. Ideally here we add, you know, we increase it in size. 20 is always pretty good for that. And then, to be precise, we typically want to add where exactly we took the data, because otherwise you'll rediscover that slide a little, you know, sometime down and you can't really use it. So here we can also extend and use the space. There's really a lot of manipulation. Most of that you do by right-clicking, diagram type, data source, diagram options. You can reset a couple of things here from before. Um, very many options of what you what you can do and what you can change with that. 
right click again just to show you and yeah all sorts of things possible and the way you get that into PowerPoint is you go to PowerPoint insert object oh dear now I don't remember where exactly I saved that where did I save this okay then from data we need to find that where did I save this previous thing um, that will be in that probably in that special output section yes okay I'm going here very fast maybe you need to watch it another time but contributions importance sometimes rendered in a in a fairly small style I find that a little irritating but anyway because I often need to increase it in size so we get this stupid thing out here increase it in size and here we have it you've got your your Excel sheet in there and yes it's taken us five minutes I've taken five minutes of your time but what I've shown you is how quickly we can move and in between I was explaining things so you know you can you can imagine that once I'm doing that by myself it often is just a matter of two minutes to generate the output as mentioned a couple of small cosmetic things we would want to change here the the the, the size of the values it's too small maybe we'd work more a little more on the colors um, maybe we're going to think about sort of even stripping here that legend out because it's already set above so we can still work with that and fine-tune it but I hope this has given you a very good overall idea of how we move from having raw data over here into a nice chart thanks for bearing with us and the next installment will be on slightly more advanced versions of getting using syntax to generate output and the usual thing trying to stop this this animal okay here we go